Hi, I'm Katie Schofield and I just wanted to make an instructional video about preparing for your permanent lip colour treatment. There are a few similarities between the preparation for lips and the preparation for brows, but there are some important differences too that you should know to get the best results possible. Following the pre-care and aftercare properly is going to give you the best healed results. So as with brows and liner, you want to avoid alcohol the day before, also no aspirin and ibuprofen 24 hours before unless they're prescribed. You're still fine to take paracetamol and codeine. Avoid caffeine on the day too, and these are all just to prevent bleeding. If you have a history of cold sores, then you need to take some antiviral tablets before your treatment and also a few days after. Your doctor can prescribe these for you and they're also available online. Dosage instructions will come with them and if you don't take these, then you will get a serious cold sore outbreak and ruin your results. If you're unsure whether you've had a cold sore, then take them anyway. It's advisable to exfoliate your lips for a few days before your treatment. If you're unsure what to use, then just some oil with a little bit of sugar in will get rid of all the dry skin and help me implant the colour better. If you're coming for lip neutralisation, then you will need longer to heal between your appointments. Also, you may need more than the standard two sessions, depending on how heavily pigmented your lips are. After your treatments, your lips will be swollen. They'll start to go down almost immediately and swelling will only last a couple of hours. In the healing phase, be careful of spicy food, hot drinks, and only use the aftercare provided for the first week. That should speed up the process and have your lips looking fabulous in no time. Any questions about lips or anything else, please ask below, hit like and subscribe.